My name is Lori Hancock and I taught for 30 years in public schools. I spent over a decade using Renaissance Learning's math programs. They changed my view of math and, more importantly, they transformed my students' experience with math. I was never worried about test scores in math since our scores were some of the highest in the state. I love that I can share the magic of Renaissance Learning with fellow teachers. Let's explore the tools I used in my math classroom. For classroom teachers, the most important question is one of practice. How do we create rich environments where all students learn at a high level? Accelerated math made my day easier. The program allowed me to differentiate math practice for all of my students. By planning ahead and making sure students had work prior to math class, it allowed my students to have continuous work during our accelerated math practice time. Each assignment was unique to individual student needs. Oftentimes, assignments were totally different, so copying from another student simply was not an option. Of course, the fact that I did not have to grade student work was a huge gift in itself. This allowed me to have more time to work with my students. One of the things I think is very important for teachers to remember with accelerated math is that we do not assign math standards or math skills until we have taught those skills to our students. Accelerated math is an incredible math program, but it does not teach our students math. We still need to do that. We as teachers need to continue to instruct our students on how to do the math but Accelerated Math provides that daily math practice. With Accelerated Math, I want to be sure that if I am going to use the program as part of my whole group instruction, I want to be sure and look at how that math problem or standard is presented in Accelerated Math. I want to be sure that their practice time is meaningful and that I'm prepared for that time with my students. When my classroom went from paper copies of practices to online practices, I knew that I needed to come up with an idea that my students would always have their work available to me. So I decided that the best way to do that was for all of my students to have a spiral bound notebook and it's only used for accelerated math practices or tests. Student conferencing with Accelerated Math is extremely important. When my students miss a math problem, I want to know why they missed it. I want to see what mistake they made. By looking with my student at that math problem and discussing that math problem with them, I can figure out exactly what mistake has been made and what my student needs to know to be successful on that next math problem. And so when my students miss a math problem, we, they know that they need to bring their device up to me and their notebook if they needed to show their work, and we talk about what they missed. I try very hard to take my students back to that math lesson that I taught that led them to the practice on that particular math problem. Wouldn't it be nice if we could clone ourselves in the classroom and instead of just one teacher, there were five? But we know that's not possible. So during practice time with Accelerated Math, I mentioned earlier that it's very important to me that I conference with my students and go over any problems that they miss. Unfortunately, if we're working on a harder skill or a harder standard, many of my students are missing some of those math problems. And I just, there's not enough of me to go around. So by using some of my stronger students or my students that understand that particular standard or skill, it's like cloning myself. And so I do that often and I try very hard to let all of my students have that opportunity because it's a huge compliment to them for me to be able to choose them to help someone else. And I can tell that it makes them feel really good. One useful tool are the depth of knowledge questions. At this level, students must make decisions about his or her approach and how to plan and use evidence to solve their math problems. I like to put my students in small groups to work our depth of knowledge questions that are found within our accelerated math practice. By putting students into groups, I really like to listen to their conversations on how they would solve the math problem. So many times we can learn from one another and by putting students in groups, it helps them to do that. 
For our summative assessments that are given in the spring of the year, we now have our open-ended questions. And the DOK questions that are found in Accelerated Math are great practice for our students to get them ready for their summative assessments in the spring. Eventually, with our depth of knowledge questions, by putting students in groups, it gives them that opportunity to learn from one another. But I certainly also work with my students individually on our depth of knowledge questions so that they get that individualized practice as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned a little bit more about Accelerated Math. I would also like to remind you to watch the other videos in this series about Star Math and Math Facts in a Flash.